We start off this week's Parsha talking about we're going to Mitzrayim and with the Makos, Parsha's Ve'era tells us that Moshe Rabbeinu finally is forced by HaKadosh Baruch Hu, so to speak, at the Sneh to go to start the process of Geula. And the first thing that Hashem tells Moshe and Aaron, the first thing that they're going to have to do is to do a Moface, to perform a sign for Paro. What's the sign? What's the first message? Come to Paro, let my people go. What's the first sign? The stick should change it to a tanin, a nachash. We're not going to get into the differences right now. Let it turn into a snake. The question is, why is that the first sign? Out of all the simanim that HaKadosh Baruch Hu could have chosen to send Paro, let my people go. Why is that? What's the symbolism of the first sign of the stick to the nachash? The Rambam tells us, asks, question, his famous question, the Ramban quotes it in Parshas Lech Lecha, and that is, why would the Egyptians roll to be punished anyway? Wasn't it all forecast by the Brisbane Basarim? Hashem already told Avram Avinu that this is what's going to be. You're going to be in a land for so many years. You're going to be subjugated. So ask the Rambam and Ilchus Shuva. It was already decreed. Why do they deserve? Why do we have Parshas Va'era, Parshas Bo? Why is that? Where's the justice? Where's the Mida Kedeg and Mida? So the Rambam's answer is Hareg Lo Gazar Al Ish Ploni Hayadua. Hashem didn't say this Mitzri was going to subjugate and this Mitzri was going to kill and this Mitzri. Hashem didn't say specifically. So they each could have said, "I'm not going to do it," because they each chose to do it. So that's why they were punished. That's the Rambam Shita. The Ramban is not very happy about the Shita of the Rambam in Parshas Lech Lecha, because after all, if Hashem decrees something, if Hashem prophesy, if Hashem gives the prophecy and says, so we should jump to do it. We should be the one that wants to fulfill the Dvar Hashem. Like we just learned, Yosef at Tzaddik thought of his dreams as a nevuah, according to some. So the Ramban has a different shot. The Ramban says in Parshas Lech Lecha, no, the reason is, based on Sukkim and Navi, Ki haya ha shahosifu lahara. The Mitzrayim went above and beyond. Hashem said, Vavadam vi'inu osam. Hashem never said, throw the babies into the river. Hashem never says everything, the torture and the subjugation that the Mitzrayim did, they went above and beyond. They acted independently. They weren't just acting based on the nevuah. They were very independent. Says the Ber Yosef, Rav Yosef Misalant. Paro thought he was just a tool. Paro thought he was acting as an extension of God. What did Hashem want to tell him? You're not a stick. You're not a staff. You're not a mate in my hand. You're a snake. A nachash, a tanin, they're independent. They are mazikim, that the Gemari of Baba Kama even talks about. Somebody holds a snake, it's considered that the, the biting of the snake is, is independent. Because Paro, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is just. And you're not a mate, but you're a snake. That's why that was the first sign. As we start these parshios, let's remember and reinvigorate ourselves with the emuna. That Hashem is Sadak Vyasharhu. Hashem is perfect Mida Kenegan Mida. Hashem gives each of us exactly what we need, what we deserve in our package that He has for each and every one of us. Let's appreciate that power that a Kaddish Baruch Hu has in each and every one, each and every, each of our lives, every single day of our life. Have a great Shabbos.